What's up, guys? All right. Um, so it's Sunday. Um, I'm about to head to Home Depot. Um, I'm going to do a project today. Um, I'm going to try to build like this outdoor bench um, that's like sectioned. I'm looking up like all the, I found this project online, so I'm going to do it like exactly how they, uh, like all the materials, which is mainly just wood, some wood glue. I, I never really did much with like wood glue, but I'm going to do it how they, how they told me to do it. Um, we're going to need 10 boards in total. We're going to go two by four by eight. So two by fours, eight foot. I'm going to need some wood glue because I don't, I don't think I have any here to be honest with you. And then I'm probably going to need, I don't know what they're called. It's like those clamps that you like wood glue clamps, I guess. I have a bunch of small ones, but I need like one of those long ones that can basically compress it together. I'll probably get two of those. Um, so I'm going to put two wood clamps. And then I've basically got everything else that I need. So I'm about to head to Home Depot. You guys can come with. And then uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, supplies. All right. Stay tuned. I'm in Home Depot now. I'm gonna film a little bit on my phone. Um, they're being kind of weird because of what's going on right now. Um, they got us like, I don't know, everyone's on edge here, so. Coronavirus! Um, I'm not going to film with my big camera, so I'm gonna film as much as I can with my phone, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, got everything I need. I've got 10 two by four by eights. I've got stain, wood glue, clamps, and then brushes for the stain and we are on the way to check out. All right guys, got all the wood loaded up, got everything in the back. We are headed home and then we'll start on the project. See you there. Okay, so made it back home. We have all the two by fours, 10 of them. I'm about to carry them up there so I can start cutting them, getting them ready, and get all my supplies and tools out and whatnot. And yeah, we'll see where this thing goes. Whew, okay. It's hot out here. My face gets red easily. All right, so I've got the 10 two by fours up. I'm going to show you guys, sorry, I'm breathing so hard. Um, so we've got the wood stain. I went with a, like a red oak type. I wanted a dark, um, stain, but I don't know. I think it'll look good. We're going to put it outside by the pool. So, um, we got that. We got the, um, gorilla glue, wood glue. Um, basically the way this is going to work. I've never really used much of this wood glue before, but um, I know we got to put it on there, let it, um, we're going to clamp it down with these bar clamps. I had to buy some because I didn't have any, but we clamp it down for like 20, 30 minutes and then uh, you can unclamp it, but you want to let it sit for 24 hours. So um, my plan is to get everything cut, glue everything together that we're going to glue, screw in what we need to screw, stain it after it's done, you know, after the 30 minutes is up and then just let everything dry and sit overnight and then we'll check it tomorrow so uh i guess what we'll do now is we'll start cutting some boards the first thing that we're going to do we're going to take um six of these boards and we're going to cut them at 81 and a half inches and then we'll do something with what's left over but right now we're going to cut those first all right guys next step we are going to cut 10 18 inch boards and then we're going to cut another six 14 and a half boards. So these boards that we cut off of these are, are 14 and a half. Um, we need six more. So we need 12 total. All right. So I'm going to do this and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, guys, there's my beautiful pregnant wife that's carrying my beautiful son. All right, guys, it is super hot out here. Um, I just finished cutting all the boards. I've got them lined up here. 
with the 18 inch and the 14 and a half boards, I've alternated them. So I've got a 14, 18, 14, 18, 14, 18, so on and so forth. You're gonna to wanna to make sure there's 11 total here and you should have enough left over to do two of these. These are gonna be the base or, the, or the, the legs of the chair or the bench. So you just wanna make sure that the little ones, the 14 and a half inch are on the outside and then you alternate them with the 18 inches. So what I'm about to do, I'm going to glue these together just on the insides and I'm gonna do two of these. So I'll glue this one together and then glue the second one together and then we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, once I'm done gluing them, I'm gonna show you the clamps that I'm using and how to put them on and everything, what glue I'm using. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glue on there and I'll meet you guys on the next step. Ran into a little problem. I didn't think about this beforehand, but um, my little clamps here, my wood clamps, they are not long enough. So I don't wanna go back to Home Depot today and um, I'll probably end up taking these back. So instead, I'm gonna use ratchet straps and I think that should work just fine. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right guys, after many trial and error, I've got the first one done, got everything evened up, tightened down with a ratchet strap, glues on there. Um, now I'm about to get the next one going with these. <laughs> and bolt down the sides but everything is together the rest of those the uh the six boards that we had left over just literally slide right into those slots um and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh what it looks like so here it is we've got uh, these end pieces still ratchet strapped down because the glue's still drying i've got those other um leftover two by fours that we had the um that we cut from initially and this is it so like i said we're gonna let it um sit over the weekend let all the glue dry and then uh, we'll stain it next week. And then I'll, uh, I'll actually post the results on my Instagram. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, guys, all finished up. Everything's drying right now. We're not, um, we're not going to stain it today. We're gonna let it sit for, you know, over the weekend um, and into next week, let it get, you know, sure enough dry. All right, guys, all finished up. That's the vlog today. Got the bench done, take a sit on it sturdy as can be um, great project to do with your kids if you just want if it's like a beginner's type deal like I have no experience woodworking or anything like that but super fun and uh, I think you guys should should give it a try but other than that got a lot of stuff going on I'm not gonna be at work for the next week or so because of the whole COVID-19 thing so stay tuned for a lot more and uh, see you guys next week <music>so i got my got my bench up here i put it on this table because i was going to stain it today and i was going to try to do it before the before wednesday so i could have it in the vlog but i took the ratchet strap off the other side and check this out so what i learned from this is um Wood glue sucks. It did it on the other side too. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm gonna put these back together and I'm gonna just gonna find like really long screws and just go straight through this whole thing. And I mean, maybe I'm not using wood glue right. I haven't really done too much research on it, but I'd rather just have a big old nail going through it. You know what I'm saying? So I know that I think it going nowhere. So, epic fail, um, but we learn from our mistakes, and I'm not perfect, and at least you guys can, uh, can grow and learn with me. So, um, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm probably not going to have the nails before Wednesday, so that's the vlog. See you guys next week.